Okay, so welcome back. So we're in the city of Marland, and there's malevolence everywhere, and beasts turning whatever in the middle of the city and whatnot. Um, we do have a skit here, so let's see what this is about. So this is Marland. It is a city rich in history, is it not? I believe even the Celestial Record mentioned it. Yeah, I always wanted to visit Marland, the city of knowledge nestled amongst the holy trees. Their shining branches are as a beacon unto the fruit of knowledge and the flower of aesthetics. There walks this continent no true scholar, no true artist who did not once frolic in its sylvan depths. Well, the fruit looks pretty rotten right now, if you ask me. Pretty sure no one did. Even so, she's right. Maybe so. But flowers will always bloom again in springtime and bear their fruit in autumn. Indeed. The cycle will never end so long as there remains passion for knowledge and beauty, right? Very true. History has proven as such. I think you have flowers in your head or something. Don't you like flowers, Edna? I mean, they're fine. The pretty ones, at least. Okay. Um, so, we also came across a woman who was carrying books and she wanted to bury them in a weird spot that she didn't want us to know about. Which it looks like it's the graveyard over there. Um, there's also malevolence, I believe, at the entrance, or not over here. Well, there is one over here, so we might as well get that. Saray, look around you. Um, this isn't the one I was thinking of. But we will destroy this malevolence. Perfect. Um, but there was one at the entrance, the northern entrance, I guess. Because that's a, this is the southern entrance. So. I also wanted to check because it felt like we had a skit where Lila was talking to Edna about the fusion stuff. So I was wondering if maybe Edna ended up learning it. Um, and look at that. She did learn fusion. Uh, but we'll keep money finding on here. Um, I guess we don't need health maintenance at the moment. Okay, and I don't know if there's any more malevolence balls in the town, uh, but I remember seeing those those ones we've destroyed specifically, so um, we'll make our way to the graveyard now. Yeah, I don't think there's... Yeah. We'll just take a peek back here. Oh, that does look like a monolith down there, though. And a treasure chest. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Well, <laughs> all right, we'll have to go and get that. Um. Let me just take a look at the map. Yeah, that's in that area with the dragon, so we're not going to go over there. We're going to go find out what's going on with the books first. My daughter rests in peace in the cemetery. She loved books so much. Ooh, is, is that it? I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kinda of funny to bury books in a graveyard. I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. Alright.
Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. Who's there? You're... So you lied to us about protecting the books? <sighs> it was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Malevolence! We're taking these back. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew. Someday this was bound to happen. The malevolence is fading. I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Nafe for me? <sighs> Catching her quelled the malevolence? That's probably what she wanted deep down, to be brought to justice. Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore. Uh, I'm not really sure I understood what was going on there, but we got a library key. Um, no, we have to go all the way over there. Oh, so we can go get that monolith then, I guess. And there is more malevolence here for us to urge or purify, rather. Found it. Totally found it. That's good. You actually found a good chunk of money that time. There might be something nearby. Uh. Okay. I guess we can't use the grade we get in this area because this is, I'm assuming, a different region from the other one that we got the protector person, so. Oh, and there's another malevolence ball that we need to purge or purify. There you go. Guess that's all the. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We going in? So, are you scared of ghosts too? Would you like me to hold your hand? It's not like that. You understand, don't you, Saray? I'm sensing a huge domain. There's definitely a strong hellion here. It could be hiding anywhere in the museum. We better canvas the entire area. See what I did there? Canvas is a fabric used as a painting service, and... Please stop. Oh, wow. I just got it. See? It was just enough explaining. It wants us to come in. Looks like it. Actually, I found that kind of amusing, too. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a skit here. So there's no Guardian Seraph here, either. Looks like it. I don't want to assume that the entire world is like this, but... I think there are quite a lot of Seraphim who are less than fond of humans. Can it really be that hard for humans and Seraphim to coexist peacefully again? Do you really think that could happen? Must be nice living in a fantasy world. It isn't necessarily just a fantasy. But look at the reality. I understand that it may be difficult to achieve, sure. But in reality, there was a time like that in the past. There are records in the ruins and in the Celestial Record. When is this past you're referring to? Long, long ago. But even now, there are Seraphim like you, Edna. Huh? And we figured out that we could bring back the Blessing as well. Yep. I think this is a step towards coexistence with the Seraphim and humans. I'll be counting on you, Edna. Selfish as ever. That's why I can't stand humans. Get used to it. Selfish types everywhere. Jeez. 
Yeah, I was about to say, uh, Miklio is not a human, he's a seraphim. Uh, okay. There may be some herbs out here. Be on the lookout for them. Thank you, Miklio. Uh, let's grab a save, because stuff could go poorly in this library. Is that a monolith? Oh, what? Uh, that's right, we didn't get a chance to get it yet. Okay. Oh, and there's a treasure chest over here, so that's what he was talking about, not the herb. But we don't have a key for that one yet. So... Let's head on up and in. Okay, let's see here. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. We might have to turn back on, um... Mm. Alright, let's try going this way first. Wait, is that the way we came in? Please tell me that's not... Okay, good, good. good. Such important cultural artifacts. Uh, it's a lot this bigger than awful. I expected. We can't forgive this. What? What? Not in the mood. Oh, right. oh my! I can see Freeze fairies. Over. I believe they're also Where? hellions. How's this? <laughs> Ready? Strike! Ready? Demon Demon Rose, hang on, Where's everyone! Be gone! Daily. Strike! How's this? Not bad. Not Ready? Bad. Strike! How's what are they weak to? They're weak to earth, so let's armatize earth and get this done with. I did it! Take them out! Well, keep Play. the crap out of it! Right. Rising sands! Demon Ray! 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 Demon Okay, but what was the point of that? We can burn them away, but there is no point because there's nothing there. Anyways, I want to go back here and check out the area to the, I guess, to the east. Won't budge. Okay. So now that we know, mm, get rid of these cobwebs though, because we hate spiders. All right. No, we're not gonna fight that. Won't budge. What about this door? Aha! Ugh. Time for battle. these weak too. Weak to earth as well. Is it the same one we saw in the ruins? This one could be much stronger. You really seen hellions like this in that ruin? Well Come on my side. Rock Be gone! All right! Take this! Be gone! Everyone! Revenging giant! Come on! Take this! There we go. Verification complete. Uh, I'm assuming there's probably going to be enemies in. Oh wait, did we get the treasure chest? No, we did not. It seems there's a treasure chest near us. Wait, that's. What are these weak? Uh, these are weak to wind, which we don't have the wind serif yet, which I think was Zavid or whatever his name was. So let's just use Lila. Is that really a scorpion? It's so large. But that makes it easier to hit, right? Wait, were they resistant to fire? No, they aren't. Alright, so let's armatize. I like her armatized because it's uh, nice and wide reaching. It's easiest to notice the dimmer stars when they shine, they say. Shabby spear. Uh, she's already got a shabby spear on. I find it odd that like the different equipment has different number of stats and stuff on them. What? 
It's a little creepy. Step on we and we gain strength. Step on them and what takes place. Squash on their bellies and their guts pop out. Squishy and red flying out of their mouths. Uh... What sinister writings? It looks like they were scrawled in blood. It's a little disturbing. Yeah, a little disturbing. But anyways, um... Ooh. Dangerous encounter. Or fine. Wait, what are these weak to? Earth, alright. So we will armatize just to get through these quicker. Oh really? Really game? Okay, so we're not actually strong against these ones, so we'll unarmatize, switch to Lila. And we'll rearmatize again. Beautiful. And everybody leveled up. Nice. It's convenient. Um. I guess this just opens that door, right? So I guess it was just cobwebs on that side that were blocking it. Um, hmm. Alright. So let's go to the north here first. Saray, look around you. Got our apple gel. And we'll just discard the... Ooh, nice, she found some money. There's an herb over here. This aroma. Do you have any equipment you'd like to fuse? No, we're actually gonna change now. To health maintenance, I guess. Let's do our AP now, because we've got a lot of AP. Um, okay. We don't have enough points for that one, though. Um, Oh, that's a nice one. Break charge. Alright, that's good. There might be something nearby. Alright. Uh, we don't know. No, go away. Oh, we should really go in there, though. What's Ugh. that? Point of interest, too. Nice. Uh, we can figure out where it is. This? No, it's probably this. There we go. So, statue of the conqueror. Probably get a skit on this. This statue, it radiates such dignity. You can tell from his expression that he must have been a great warrior. A fine man. I would like to see his entire body. Oh, but, but wouldn't he be more or less naked? That's what makes him attractive, in an aesthetic sense. W well, it's true that the perfectly toned body of a warrior may be aesthetically pleasing, but... Alicia, unladylike! No, I only meant it as a generalization. I really have no personal interest in that sort of thing. Not at all, huh? I mean, not much. Just enough. Be a normal amount. Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. 
Though it's true that King Claudin epitomizes the warrior ideal. Hold on, this is King Meliodas, right? Not King Claudin. What? But then it wouldn't match with the style at all. Yes, because this bust was carved as a speculation on the style of future generations. I think your interpretation is a bit far-fetched. Well, I think you're trapped in stereotypical views. All right. Look, let's drop our preconceptions and start over then. Can we identify the subject? What features stand out? Wow, settle down. It's just a statue. Seriously. That was pretty good. No, <laughs> we got into a fight with the stupid spiders. Um, we'll just dramatize. Oh, an armatize! There we go. Alright. You were quite strong. Bunch of proficiencies went up. Ooh, I almost ran right into that. <laughs> That would not have been good. No, go away. Stop laughing at me. Oh, those things are annoying. Alright. Uh, hmm. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Really? I don't see it at all anywhere. Uh. Aha! Alright. We'll take a break here. Uh, next time we'll continue exploring this museum. Or art gallery. I don't even know what it is. Library. Whatever this place is. Uh, so until next time. Thanks for watching.